Hello everyone! Long time no see and finally I updating I uploaded a videos and as a PhD student who mainly work on the computer, even though there's a lockdown happening, I still have to do my research. So I don't have I don't have more time even though you know we're in the lockdown. But finally after being on and off on crochet and didn't finish anything in particular so I don't have any things to upload it finally we finish a project she's she's an orange cat as you can see and she's a character from Animal Crossing which I've been playing recently I know you're gonna say like oh you have a time playing game but you don't have time to crochet and upload the new videos and just let me <laughs> just don't okay just don't say anything about that um yeah i hope I, I hope all of you are doing fine in this very hard time of the virus and um, yep i'm trying my best to get some free times to crochet and maybe upload more videos in the future so no more no more little talking <laughs> let's move to the tutorial please study the abbreviation carefully before you proceed to the video so we're gonna start with the head part of our orange cat and i'm gonna start with six single crochet into the circle which the way that i'm doing is two chain and then six single crochet into the first chain and yes you can start with magic ring if that's the way you prefer you can start any any other way that you end up the first round with six single crochet in the shape of circle so and six after that we're gonna slip stitch on the first uh, on the first stitch that we do of this round we slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and for the second round we're gonna do increase so two single crochet into the same stitch we're gonna start with the stitch that we do slip stitch earlier and the second one on the same place single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the same stitch and repeating this all around and you should end up with a uh, 12 stitch I prefer doing my work in round so I don't have to count and be careful as when I'm work when I'm work in spiral but if you prefer to work in spiral feel free to skip the slip stitch and one chain you know at the end and the, at the start of the round it's okay it doesn't it's not gonna affect the shape of the dolls so now we slip stitch and one chain to start the next round and for the next round we're gonna do one single crochet into the next stitch and then increase so one single crochet and then two in the same stitch one single crochet and increase two into the same stitch and we're repeating this for six time or until you know the end of the round and if you insist to do spiral you may have to use anything to mark the start of the round so you don't get confused or keep counting and for this round yeah we could <coughs> you're just gonna do one single crochet and then increase and if I crochet too fast, this is going to be a very long tutorial, so I'm speeding up a little bit. If I'm crochet too fast, you can go to the setting of the video and select the 0 0.5 or 0 0.2, you know, the speed of the video, to it, so it be a little bit slower. And chain, one chain to start the next round. For round 4, we're going to do single crochet into the next two stitch and then increase increase okay 
one single crochet two single crochet and increase one in the next round and one in the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet and increase two into the same stitch this one to the same stitch and we repeating this all around and increase into this round one single crochet two single crochet and increase and you can see that we are back to the start of the round then we do slip stitch on the first stitch of the round one chain to start the next round that should look something similar to this and for the next round we're gonna do three single crochet and then increase so one two and three and then increase two single crochet into the same stitch and we're repeating this all around and if you follow until this step you see the pattern so we start with increase and then one single crochet increase two single crochet increase and three single crochet then increase we're gonna uh, follow this pattern until this piece of work big is big enough to you know to our liking <laughs> to my liking so if you feel that this is too big or this is too small you can keep keep expanding the work by uh, follow the pattern where are we now so and then increase into the same stitch and one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and then increase two into the same stitch and slip stitch on the first stitch of the round one chain to start the next round and next round we're gonna do i think we're gonna keep increase a little bit one more round so single crochet into the next four and then increase so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet i need to get more yarn okay uh, four single crochet and then increase two into the same stitch and we repeating this until we reach the starting point again so single crochet into the next four and then increase three seven slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round okay, I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit
for the next round we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all across for uh, four round so from round 7 to round 10 we're just gonna do one single crochet into each stitch all around and if you count the stitch you will end up with 36 so if you find yourself more or less than this so maybe somewhere you do it wrong but if it's just one or two stitch it's fine it's okay you can keep going that's what I usually do <laughs> if I find myself one or two stitch missing I'm just gonna do this for four round and I'm gonna let the videos playing and I'm gonna see you again at the end of round 10 Now we're finishing round 10 and after inspecting I think I think I'm gonna increase a little bit more so as you always or maybe maybe not know so for the next round first first thing first for the next round we're gonna do a uh, single crochet into the five six, next five stitch and then increase so one two uh, three four seven. five and then two into the same stitch for increase and one two three four five and then increase and repeating this all around uh, if you're new to the channel every dolls every tutorial on this video 90 99 99 is i don't have a pattern in my hand i'm just making it up and record at the same time so sometimes there's a change in the pattern sometimes that you see me hesitating during the video sometimes i unwind it and redo it again because this is like this is the first prototype 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 <laughs> of this uh christian of this project so please bear in mind <laughs> and yeah we're gonna repeat in this and if you are curious how can i talk and crochet at the same time without counting the you can if you crochet a little bit 
long you will kind of notice mm. where you do the increase and we just do increase mm. in the same space that we do the last from the last round okay slip stitch and close the round one chain to start the next round and for the next round we're just gonna do one single crochet all across yep so if you we say if you crochet enough dolls the stuffed animal you will see the pattern in it it is a uh, how you adjust adjust it so this round we're just gonna do one single crochet all across the round single crochet and one single crochet slip stitch to close the round slip stitch and one chain to start the next round and for the next round i think i'm gonna start decreasing so one two three four and five so five single crochet and then decrease so single crochet two together okay, i'm gonna do that again i think that's too fast so one two three four five and then you kind of like pull it over and the next stitch you pull the yarn over and then you pull it through that's how you do a uh, single crochet two together or some or as a lot of people call it decrease so we're just repeating this all around again so one two three four five and then single crochet two <sighs> together that's it and if you still mm, mm. cannot catch how to do it mm. search uh, yeah. You just search SC2 mm. TOG <laughs> in the YouTube. There's a lot of tutorial. The more with with more bigger yarn, you can see it more clearer. Okay. So, just pause the videos and search on the YouTube for mm. a tutorial if you sure. don't know how to do it. Yeah. And mm. we're just gonna repeating this. Mm. I'm sorry for accidentally off the camera, so I'm gonna adjust the camera down a little bit, and hopefully this time we're in the frame. So, uh, what else? Next, we're gonna do more increase. So single crochet into the next four stitch, and then 
decrease. So two single crochet, two together. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and then single crochet two together. Okay. And we're just gonna keep decreasing to close uh, her head. And the same way as we do increase, we, you know, there's a pattern like one increase, okay. two stitch and then increase, three stitch and then increase, the same way for decrease. So we start with five single crochet and then decrease, okay. and this one is four single crochet and decrease. So we're just gonna keep okay. going on with this pattern. So next up for <laughs> three single crochet and decrease. and go around until uh, mm. her head oh. is closing so for this uh -huh. round single crochet into the next four stitch and sing two together or decreasing I hope I don't confuse any beginners <laughs> so one two no two three four and decrease okay. um, slip stitch to close the round slip stitch one chain to start the next round and for the next round it's gonna be single crochet into the next three mm. stitch oh. and um, single crochet two together to decrease okay. and we just repeating this all around or six times so mm. Then slip stitch to close the round. And one chain to start the next round. And it should look something like this. <coughs> next round, you're gonna do a uh, single crochet into the next two stitch and then single crochet two together or decrease. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and single crochet two together. Okay. And we're repeating this for six times or until mm. we meet the start of the round. So, come. together slip stitch to close the round and one chain for the next round and I'm gonna stuff the fibers here and make sure you stuff the fiber generously because when the time passed you know two or three years after this 
all the polyester fiber will start to clump together and your crochet doll will kind of like going mushy <laughs> no, that's not the word <laughs> no, it's, it's gonna not holding shape as it used to so make sure you stuff it generously it's so tight and next okay. round we're gonna do one single crochet and then decrease to two together one single crochet and two together and I accidentally going off the frame again two together be careful not to hook the fibers so have to be very be careful one single crochet and then single crochet two together look it through and we're repeating this all around Mm. And during the decreasing process, make sure you crochet it pretty tight or else you're gonna leave some mm. quite a big hole when you do single crochet two together. And if you really have a problem with big open hole from decreasing, you may search for invisible decreasing I think there's a tutorial somewhere that someone else doing it but I prefer the traditional decrease method so I'm just gonna keep with that but just have to keep in mind that you have to do it pretty tight and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round we are nearly done this part so for the last round we're gonna increase no not increase <laughs> decrease two single crochet two together all around so for six time and after that we're gonna end up with uh, a small open hole which you can sew it to close or I'm just gonna leave it because this is where her neck this is where uh, this is the place where we're gonna sew attached to the body so it's not gonna see this is not gonna showing anywhere so up to you so single crochet two together make sure you do it tight and carefully not to hook the fibers and yep I have I wearing glasses and have a near eye size so <laughs> I unconsciously move close to my face again and cut the yarn just just leave a little bit of yarn and fasten off I leave too much to be honest I'm, I, I leave too much length of yarn you don't have to leave this long and squeeze it squeeze until the the fibers are kind of spread equally and that's it next we're gonna do her ears and for the ears we're gonna start with orange so two chain and yes you can start with magic ring two chain and then four single crochet into the first chain trying to make it slow so you can see it two single crochet three single crochet and four single crochet it's gonna be very hard for the first and the second round because it's so small with just four stitch slip stitch to cross the round one chain to start the next round and next round we're gonna increase a little bit by doing one single crochet into the same space that we do slip stitch one single crochet and increase in the next stitch so single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet into the same stitch one single crochet to the next stitch and then increase 
one and two and now you're kind of like pushing make sure that the right side is out so pushing it out so this is gonna be the tip of the ears and slip stitch to close the round slip stitch on the first single crochet that we're doing and one chain to start the next round this is gonna be pretty hard because it's so small next round we're gonna do the same thing so one single crochet and then increase and repeat it so this one is one single crochet and another one into the same stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and then increase one to the next stitch and one in the same stitch and repeat it again one single crochet into the next stitch and one into the same stitch and slip stitch to close the round then one chain to start the next round For the next round, we're gonna do single crochet into the next two stitch and then increase and repeat it all around for three times. So one, two, single crochet, and then increase. One single crochet, two single crochet and increase and repeating this and increase and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and next round we're gonna do single crochet into the next three and then increase so three and then increase so two into the same stitch single crochet and then another one into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and increase. And it's a good idea to unwind the yarn that you know you have a loose yarn at the end, so you have to, so it's not tangled tangle and slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next mm. round and for this round I'm just gonna do one single crochet all around because we because I'm afraid that I'm gonna expanding this too much so we're just gonna do one single crochet all across single crochet and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and next round we're gonna do 
single crochet into the next four stitch and increase so one two three four and increase so two into the same stitch and repeating this for three times and two to get two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet and increase so two into the same stitch slip stitch two close the round one chain to start the next round and for the next round we're gonna do single crochet into the next five stitch so one two three four five and increase two into the same stitch and this is gonna be the last round for the ES so just gonna repeating this all around um, five and increase into the same stitch one two three four five and two stitch in two single crochet into the same stitch slip stitch to close the round and we leave quite some length for sewing and then cut the yarn and fasten off make sure you leave enough yarn for sewing and make two of this repeat the same thing and make another ears we're gonna fold it and sewing this to her head next is the inner <laughs> ear so there's the pink inner inside which if you don't want to crochet you can just cut like a few a few uh -huh. fabric a pink fabric and uh -huh. sew it in i just don't have it so i have to crochet it up we start with five chain here five chain and single crochet into the second chain from the hook so one single crochet and single crochet again into the next chain then we do half double crochet we yarn over and pull yarn pull the yarn and then slip it through like that this is half double crochet and then we do double crochet and that's it for the pink inner ear if this is too fast you can slow down the videos to see each, each stitch and leave some length of yarn for sewing later and that's it this make you make two set of this and you're gonna have her ears use the uh, pin does it is it called the pin yeah you just use the pin to kind of like pin the correct position before sewing believe me you have to use it you can just use your hand to hold it but then you know during the sewing process you may be accidentally shift the position of the ear so make sure you cut you place it in the in the place that you want before actually sewing it and after you okay with the position and you're just sewing always always use the yarn to sew so it looks seamlessly attached to each each piece look belong together <laughs> don't use the the thread that you know the smaller thread or things to sew it it's gonna visible it's gonna be visible and it's gonna look ugly and don't use the glue some people use the glue to stick each piece together and when the time passes, the glue is just gonna fall off so just take your time sewing it stitch by stitch and it's gonna turn out pretty 
and strong. And here we are after finishing the sewing. I think the shape of the ear is a little bit off, but you know, this is too late to fix. Maybe the head is too small. This should be fine. And I just mark the position of the leaf because Tangy, this is the name of the cat, the cats uh, have like a green leaf in her forehead. And next we're gonna do the leaf on tangy head, you know the leaf in, in her forehead. So I'm gonna start with four chains. So start as usual, one chain, two, three, four, four chains, and we're gonna skip this this one and single crochet here one single crochet and single crochet into the next stitch and then three single crochet into this stitch and one two and three now we kind of work toward the, the circle and a single crochet into the next stitch then two single crochet into the next stitch one and two you're kind of creating a eclipse uh, oval shape the oval shape and slip stitch on the first single crochet that we make so slip stitch here one chain to start the round okay next we're gonna do two single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier so one single crochet and two into the same place two single crochet and the next stitch we're gonna do uh what is that called half double crochet so we yarn over slip the stitch through and pull it through so this is half double crochet we're gonna do this two into the same stitch so we're gonna i'm gonna repeat another time again <laughs> i'm gonna repeat this again into the same stitch and pull it all through so two half double crochet into the same stitch next is single crochet into the next stitch so one single crochet into the next stitch for this stitch we're gonna do another two half double crochet so half double crochet two times into this stitch so one and two and then single crochet into the next stitch single crochet and for this stitch it's gonna be two half double crochet into the same stitch so one half double crochet and two half double crochet and then we're gonna do uh, 
here you're gonna do two single crochet into the same stitch so single crochet number one and single crochet number two into the same stitch and for the last stitch of the round we do one single crochet and then slip stitch to the first stitch of the round slip stitch to close it and one chain to start the new round and it's kind of look you know oval at the moment just like that okay and for the last round we're gonna start with single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch so single crochet and then two single crochet into the next stitch into the same stitch so one single crochet and another one single crochet into the same stitch next is going to be two half double crochet so half double crochet to the next stitch and another half double crochet into the same stitch we're going to do this two times so for the next one we will also do the same thing so half double crochet into the next stitch and another half double crochet into the same stitch then a single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch then two chains one chain two chains and slip stitch slip stitch on the first chain that we do slip stitch and for the next stitch here we're gonna do single crochet so one single crochet and then another single crochet into the next stitch so right now we kind of do duplicate what we've done this side to this side and next thing is two half double crochet into this stitch so half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the same stitch half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the same stitch and for the next stitch we're gonna do two single crochet into the same stitch so single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the same stitch then single crochet into the next two stitch so single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch and now we are done we slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round slip stitch and the leaf is done we kind of uh, leave some length of yarn for sewing fasten off and now we cut a leaf so this this leaf is very very challenging like I'm I'm working on many many version of it to you know to make it fit like this dimension that I'm putting on so the leaf gonna be here and here at the back for tangy yep perfect uh, next uh, I'm gonna sew this in place
for the white eye I'm gonna do six single crochet into the first chain here or you can do one two But I'm not gonna close the round. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Leave the length of yarn and cut it off. And you're gonna get like same semi eye, you know, not not fully a circle, and it's gonna be her eyes, her white eyes here. And we make two of them like that and we're gonna embroider the the black eye for her okay
next we're gonna do Tangy's body and we're gonna start the same way that we start her head so six single crochet into a circle and I'm doing two chain and six single crochet into the first chain and then slip stitch to close the round the same way and one chain to start the next round so for the first five round it's gonna be the same as her head so you can pause the video and just do it outside or you can follow the video so the for the second round we just do increase all around so increase for six time two single crochet into the same stitch all around one single crochet and another one into the same stitch one single crochet and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round for round three we're gonna do one single crochet and then increase two into the same stitch and one single crochet and then increase two into the same stitch and repeating this all around slip stitch to close the round we slip stitch on the first single crochet of the round and one chain to start the next round for this round we're gonna do single crochet into the next two stitch and increase so one two and then two together into the same stitch two single crochet into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet and then two single crochet into the same stitch and repeating this for six times or until we until the end of the round so for for her body I kind of like not sure how big it is because I'm gonna make her a dress or which I'm gonna let her go with the skirt <laughs> yeah, because I have to make her a dress and it's really hard to adjust the size when you know the dress is the different piece and because the yarn have some thickness to it and we slip stitch to close the round so next round uh, I think we're gonna keep increasing for the next round too but actually I think I should stop here but yeah keep increasing anyway so single crochet in the next three stitch and increase two into the same stitch and repeat it all around what do we left off oh yeah the when we make the separate clothes for our crochet door you know it's, it's a it's a yarn so it have a thi the thickness in it and it's not like the fabric when we put the cloth on it and it make her body look bigger most of the time so we have to be careful with that and you're gonna see later in this video how it's turning out and just gonna keep going on single crochet into the next three stitch and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase two into the same stitch and slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round 
and for the next next round so as I'm gonna make uh, her dress separately so we're just gonna use one color all for her body so in the next couple of rounds from round six to round seven round eight we're just gonna do one single crochet into each stitch all around and repeating this so just one single crochet into each stitch and if you count it it's gonna be 30 stitches per round let me just keep moving and I will see you again at the end of round 8 And for I'm round baking. 9, we're going to do 3 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, and then decrease, or single crochet, 2 together, and 1, 2, 3, and single crochet, 2 together, or decrease. And repeating this all around. So 
I will call this as a a cat prototype. <laughs> yeah, and let's see how it's turning out. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and three single crochet, and decrease. And repeating this all around. As always, slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round. And next round we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch all around. And if you notice, because we're doing slip stitch and one chain, you know, at the end of every round, we don't have to actually count the stitch and we will eventually see where is the start of the round but if you have a hard time seeing that you feel free to count the stitch so i put the total stitch in the subtitle yeah, in the pattern as a sub subtitle down below so you can check the number if you want for this round we just one single crochet in each stitch and I'm just adjust the camera a little bit because I'm unconsciously move <laughs> move it close to my eyes again so one single crochet one single crochet and another one single crochet and here we meet the starting slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round for round 11 we're gonna do single crochet into the next two stitch and decrease decrease one single crochet two single crochet and decrease single crochet two together and repeating this all around for six times decrease slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and for the next two round we're just gonna do one single crochet into each stitch all round for two round and I'm gonna see you at the end of round 13 right now we're just repeating it one single crochet into each stitch and if you follow the tutorial until now, I believe you know what to do.
switch to close round 13 and one chain to start the next round next round we're gonna do single crochet and then decrease so one single crochet and single crochet two together just gonna do decrease and one single crochet and then decrease and repeat it all around for six times in total and you should end up with 12 stitch so we count the one decrease as one stitch okay and we're just repeating this all around one single crochet and decrease one single crochet and decrease and now we see the start of the round we slip stitch on the first single crochet of the round one chain to start the next round and the last round i'm gonna do one single crochet into each stitch all around so just one single crochet and after that we're gonna stuff the fibers in the body next let's make her legs so for the legs we're gonna start the same way with six single crochet into the circle so two chains and six single crochet into the first chain and yes yes again magic ring is okay anyway any method that you're gonna end the first round with six single crochet in the shape of circle just use it it doesn't matter and slip stitch to close the round slip stitch and one chain so next round we're gonna work on back loop only so normally when we make a stitch we will hook it through both loop right so right now we're just gonna work on the back loop only so normally we're doing like this but then this we're gonna just hook on the back loop and one single crochet just one single crochet into each stitch but on the back loop only i'm <laughs> sorry that i didn't i'm not that good on explain it but yep just the back loop a lot of video is showing you and six single crochet and before we slip stitch we kind of like put the right side out and slip stitch to cross the round I'm gonna slip it on the first single crochet and if you're not sure which one is yeah, the first uh, the first single crochet that we should slip stitch like I like I am right now so we just count it back and just blow it a little bit so we slip stitch on the first single crochet that we do of this round one chain to start the next round and now we just do normal uh, normal single crochet into each stitch so when we do uh, black loop only we kind of make her make her feet flat but it's not gonna clearly see because this is a small small leg but if we do a bigger a bigger place like back loop only gonna make it flat and it easy visible and for round four we're just gonna do single crochet into the next five and for the last stitch of the round we increase for one or you can increase anywhere for one time in this round 
So we have a total of seven stitch for round four. Slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round. So this round I'm just gonna do one single crochet all around. Single crochet all around for seven time and seven and then slip stitch to close the round and uh, one chain to start the next round so for the next round we're gonna increase one time so single crochet into the next six stitch and then increase on the last stitch but you don't have to increase in the last stitch you can inc increase anywhere i just i just like to make it the last one because it's easier to tight pattern and increase two into the same stitch and slip stitch to close the round and we're done with the leg and leave some length of yarn for sewing fasten off and make two of this to make to be her uh, legs and sewing it Next part is her arms. I just put the whole pattern on the screen because it's so simple. Hi. So for the arm, we're going to do uh, five single crochet into the circle. And then we just do one single crochet on each stitch and all around and repeating it until we get the length of the hand that we want so now I'm doing five single crochet into the circle and then slip stitch slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and then just one single crochet into each stitch it's gonna be a little bit hard on the second round because uh, it's quite a small piece and five and make sure you push the right side out and slip stitch to close the round as you can see it's, a, it's gonna be a very small pieces and very hard to see the so one mm -hmm. single crochet two oh. single crochet three single um, crochet four single three. crochet and five single crochet for one round and we're just repeating this until we get to the length that we want and this is a perfect piece for working in spiral if you find that slip stitch and one chain is hard to do because it's so small doing in spiral is fine and for her hand because we didn't have any color changing happening here See. so feel free if you want to work in spiral huh. just gonna do one single crochet for each oh. stitch and then slip stitch to close the round one chain and just repeating this until 
we got to the lane that we want which should be available you should see it on the screen And for the tail, we do everything the same as we do for her arms, but just add one more round. Or you can add a couple more rounds if you want her tails to be longer, but I'm just gonna add one extra round for her tail. Just the same way, exactly the same way that you do her arms. I leave some length of yarn for sewing. Cut it off and fasten off. And next we're gonna assemble them. Or not. Here, this is the tail, which Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So one chain, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we end this round with twelve stitch, but we have to make it a little bit bigger so we can put it on. Uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I don't want to make it too big. Okay, so 14 stitch and join it into a circle and make sure it's not twist, okay? And slip stitch, one chain and one single crochet into each stitch. So we should have 14, so one and two and three four five six seven eight Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, and then we slip stitch at the first single crochet, slip stitch, and let's see if we can 
put it over. Kind of can. Kind of can. I think 14 is a little bit tight. So, in the last stitch, on the 14 stitch before slip stitch, I'm going to put another stitch here. So, we have 15. So, we have 15. And instead of hooking the white so we're going to change the color into green Oops. pull the yarn out okay and we hook the new color through instead of the, the white one and then slip stitch on the first stitch here one chain to start the round. So like this we will start the new round seamlessly. We will change the color seamlessly. And with 15 I think this should be fine. Yep. Should be fine. And I'm gonna let the, the white one hang in there because we're gonna change the color again soon. And we'll let her body over here as a reference so next step so next stitch we're gonna do four single crochet and then increase so first stitch into the same stitch that we do slip stitch one two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet and then increase so single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the same stitch and repeat it one two three four and increase one two three four and increase two into the same stitch and slip stitch to close the round Okay, but it's still quite tight. And next will be five. So five single crochet and increase. I'm just gonna repeat this. So one two three four five and increase one two three four five and increase one two three four five and increase into the same stitch and then slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the round And then increase so yeah so I think you can see the, the, the pattern here so this is 
four single crochet and then increase, five single crochet and then increase, and then six single crochet and then increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. I'm gonna increase it a little bit because I think the the coat the skirt is kind of tight. So for this round I'm gonna do three single crochet and then increase. So one, two, three and then increase. One, two, three increase one two three increase one two three and increase one two Three and increase one, two, three and increase. Slip stitch to close the round. One chain. Yep. A lot better. So this is quite a little bit. So next round, we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. So just one single crochet into each stitch. And we should end this with uh, 30 if you want to count. But, you know, even if you didn't have 30 is fine. Because I'm also lost cow already. So we just do one single crochet into each stitch. Slip stitch to cross the round, one chain. Okay, and next round, we're gonna do another increase. So, four single crochet and then increase. One single crochet, two, three, four, and increase. One, two, three, four, and increase. 
One, two, three, four, and increase. One, two, three, four, and increase. One, two, three, four, and increase. Three, four, and increase. And I think, okay, before I'm gonna finish the last stitch, I think next round we should do white already. Yep. Yes. So next we're gonna change the color to white yarn. So we hook the white yarn through and slip stitch. Oops to close the round one single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch all around with white yarn two three four five six seven eight nine Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So, oops. So you don't have to count actually, just one single crochet into each stitch. And this round should be uh, thirty six. And I'm already lost count, so <laughs> I will assume it should be 36. So this one single crochet into each stitch. And slip stitch to cross it around. Oh, 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 no, no, no. So before finishing the last stitch, so instead of hooking the white yarn, we hook the green yarn to change the color back to green. And slip stitch to close the round, one change. And as you can see by doing slip stitch and one chain at the end of every round, we kind of change the cut when it. <laughs> Uh, when we change the color, we don't have the how do you say it? It look it look more seamless than the other than the other than the other way. Oh my English. Okay, and hook it on. And I think the skirt it is quite how to say expanded already. So I'm not gonna increase much in the next round. So I'm gonna do another round of three. Okay. Another round of single crochet all around. So one single crochet into each stitch all around.
and slip stitch to close the round one chain okay let's see shouldn't expand the the the, the skirt anymore. Mm. Okay, I have a plan. So another another round with one single crochet or round. actually make it another two so this round and the next round we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit round two so one single crochet into each stitch Slip stitch to close the round one chain. Okay. a little bit of increase but not much since we already very loose <laughs> okay uh, 11 11 stitch single crochet into the next 11 stitch and then increase so one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and increase. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven increase. Ooh. And before we finish the last stitch, we switch to color. Switch to white. Yarn over, hook it through. Slip stitch to close to round. One chain. And for the last round, you're gonna do twelve single crochet and then increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, increase. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and increase. Slip stitch the close around. Leave a leave quite a long length of yarn for sewing okay and you also cut the the green one fasten off okay for the green let me turn it away a little bit um, I'm just gonna tie tie it inside here since this is not the sailing door so I'm not gonna make it that neatly <laughs> and tie it here bigger than I planned. I was like, it should be like that. First thing first, I'm just gonna sew the body and the skirt together. 
we pull the body up, make it uh, equal here. Um, so the body and the skirt. I'm just gonna use the the white yarn for sewing, and this one is not used. So after comparing, uh, you can see her head is too small for the for the body. So I think I make the body quite proportion, a little bit long, a little bit look a little bit long, and yeah, probably her head is too small for the body. I should make the body smaller, or she, or the bigger head. Okay, so that's for today. I'm gonna try again with another cat in <laughs> the island. So, which villagers you want? Comment down below. Comment down below. <laughs> oh, so, but she she kind of cute, you know. Before I see in the game, she kind of cute. But then when I saw the real proportion in the green, I was like, oh my god. Her head is too small. I don't want... Yeah, I'm gonna make another cat with a better proportion. So, see you soon with another cat.